The Gobi Desert is beautiful and vast and just wide open. I mean, you can see here we are surrounded by absolutely nothing but desert. It's one of those countries I think if you say Mongolia to anyone, their ears and eyes light up. The Gobi Desert is a phenomenally harsh environment. It's not only Mongolian heritage, this is world heritage. So we need to protect this. It's just amazing seeing how this landscape has changed and to be able to find so much life here just by walking around for a few hours is outstanding. In the Gobi, we're combining technology and storytelling into one cohesive exercise. We go out into the field in far-flung places in service of local expertise, and we bring our sort of holistic, collaborative approach to the acquisition of, of new knowledge. The Roy Chapman Andrew Centennial Expedition is a good example of what we're trying to accomplish in terms of creating a model of exploration for the future. Roy Chapman Andrews is a past president of the Explorers Club, and when he was president of the club in the 1930s, he spent an awful lot of time and effort in developing the club and expanding it into the future. The legacy of Roy Chapman Andrews on this centennial expedition is simply amazing. We're going to many of the same exact locations, taking modern day photographs of the same views that he saw and showing the differences in climate change, the terrain, making comparison to then and now. We're advancing off of his original expedition by using current day technology. To him, 100 years ago, that was a gas-powered vehicle. Today, we've got drones, we've got all these types of cameras that allow us to scan the grounds and really compare and contrast different types of environments. We're really trying to set up the next generation of paleontology in Mongolia. Crucial to that undertaking was attempting a novel application of imaging and mapping technologies that have been used in other areas, but have never had the strings pulled together and focused on the job of finding uh, fossils. This is a perfect collaboration of technology and background to find the fossils, find the layers, interpret the paleogeology, paleogeography of what was happening here, and build a story. We're bringing the most cutting edge field technology to a discipline that really has not been on the cutting edge before. Using this method, it's going to change the paleontological fieldwork. Previous expeditions, all we have is just a very low resolution satellite image and uh, try to find these spots, <laughs> try to pinpoint them on a topo map. We're going to try and characterize the sites that are the most fossiliferous here and apply that at a larger scale, so satellite scale. So rather than 15 centimeter pixels, we're looking at 15 meter pixels. To collaborate, it's very important to understand their method and also mutual understanding each other. Because we must explain our significance of our uh, paleontological or dinosaur study and also we need to learn about the high tech how to use this field of paleontology. Just as important as that technology is so are the human interactions 
between Explorers Club and IPG, between expertise and student, and there's a, a larger ecosystem in play that's going to push this forward and, and let us convert on the successes of this expedition into future successes. This is a, such an important site because this is uh, one of the best early Cretaceous dinosaur localities of Mongolia. Every single specimen we find here is important, very important. We spent the early morning covering about 182 degrees circumference of the area on the ATVs. We were able to find a few large dinosaur bones on the way. This is definitely our biggest find. It's largely intact. This we believe to be the vertebrae, hopefully of the lower end of the dinosaur. On the other side, the mesa, we, we believe we found the legs and a shoulder bone and potentially the cranium. We're super excited about this. Uh, we're looking forward to digging it up in the afternoon. We found the first Velociraptor digit, which is the first material evidence of that meat-eating dinosaur living in that particular area. We found gigantic vertebrate ribs, tail sections, skull fragments of the cousin of Tyrannosaurus rex. We also found other skull fragments and fossils of several previously unknown species. So those have gone back to the lab in Ulaanbaatar for further assessment. I personally was also lucky enough to find a dinosaur egg in Bugensav, so everyone's really excited about that. As a result of this expedition, using that modern technology, we have discovered five new localities, more than 200 data points, and three new species we discovered. This is a huge thing. I think Roy Chapman Andrews would probably be pretty proud and pretty excited about what the Explorers Club is accomplishing here. I think the big thing about exploration is it's core to humanity. Exploration is the tool that allows us to find out more about who we are, where we are, and what we are. I really feel we're at a golden age of exploration right now. We hope we're, we're close to, you know, to proving that a really thoughtfully planned expedition the right partners that share a common goal can produce historic results that are going to have a, a wide impact. The um, Explorers Club supporting us, organizing this all this expedition, and getting the data from this, you know, the, the sites we've been visiting. I mean, that is a big thing. And it's all about this pivot from conquest to collaboration and the amazing things that can happen if you're humble enough to go somewhere to serve local knowledge. Going forward, I hope that this is seen as an example of what's possible with little resources to start off with. So I think it just shows the power of an idea and it also shows that if the right people come together towards a common goal, what can be achieved. If you can connect both environment and culture, you can really accentuate the beauty in a place and the beauty in the people that live in that place. It's essential for the survival of mankind. It's essential for the survival of wildlife. It's essential for the survival of our planet and other planets beyond this one. That's why we explore. Tigger, <laughs> 